Imagine having an AI receptionist that can collect important info, book appointments, and even transfer calls to a real person when needed. Sounds powerful, right? Good morning. This is Alex from Auto World Service Center. Hey, Alex. I need to schedule a routine maintenance appointment for my car. Great. Would you prefer to bring your car to our downtown service center or the one on the east side? I'll need an appointment for the east side service center. Thank you for letting me know. I'll transfer you now to Riley, our service scheduling specialist at the east side location. Hi there, I'm Riley. I understand you're looking to schedule a maintenance appointment at our east side location. Uh, yes, uh, well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to build your very first AI phone agent, step by step. Open up your browser, search for synthflow.ai, and head over to the official site. Once you're there, click on the login button. Now, you can either create a brand new account or just log in using your Google account. Totally up to you. All right, once you're in, this is your dashboard. Over on the side, you'll see the assistant menu. I've already made one, but let me walk you through how to set up your own from scratch. Step one. Creating your assistant, click on Create Assistant. If you want to build everything yourself, click on Start from Scratch. Or, if you'd rather work with something pre-made, go ahead and choose a template. Next, you'll need to pick your call category, either inbound or outbound. Let's say I pick inbound. You'll see a bunch of templates pop up. You can pick one that fits your needs, or just go back and choose to start from scratch. For this demo, will go with outbound, so I'm clicking on that. Step two, general configuration. Here's where you fill in the basics. Give your assistant a name you can upload a photo if you want. Choose version 2.0, select GPT-4, set your time zone. Pretty simple so far, right? Step three, adding knowledge. This part lets your assistant know stuff. You can add knowledge based on your product, service, or whatever it's supposed to talk about. Think of it like giving your assistant a brain. Voice setup. Now here's where it gets fun, choosing your assistant's voice. Pick a language test out different voices until you find one you like. You can even import a custom voice file if you've got one. Then you can tweak a bunch of stuff. Patience levels, stability, style exaggeration, similarity, fade out when interrupted, latency optimization, and yes, voice emotion too. You can make it sound older, younger, male, female, fast talker, slow speaker, you've got options. Step five, call configuration. All right, almost there. Set noise cancellation to advanced. Set your call duration. 16 seconds is a good default turn voicemail detection to ML based, and that's it. You've just built the base for your AI voice agent. In the next episode, I'll show you how to actually talk to your AI agent, so don't miss that one. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments, and I'll help you out. And hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell icon so you'll know when the next video drops. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.